Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Hello High for another quick and easy cannabis recipe. And as you can see from the thumbnail, I'm showing you how to make cannabis infused gummies. And today I'm showing you how to make the gummies with canna MCT oil. And at the end, I'll also show you how to make a few sweet and sour gummies so you can have both. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need Jello, one Kool-Aid pack, Knox gelatin, unflavored, one cup of juice, soy or sunflower lecithin, potassium sorbate, four candy molds, and can of oil or can of butter. To make my gummies taste sweet and extra flavorful, I used one cup of Hawaiian Punch Berry Blue Typhoon Juice. And then some recipes use water, but I like to use juice because it helps mask the flavor of the cannabis. Then I add one pack of blue raspberry lemonade and stir until dissolved. Once dissolved, add one eighth cup of sugar and stir until dissolved again. Now I know this may seem like a lot of sugar, but in the end, the gummies will have the perfect sweetness that masks the cannabis in the oil or butter that you use. Next, add four unflavored gelatin packets to a small bowl. If you're using can of butter, use three packets. Then add a half a cup of juice to the gelatin and slightly stir until combined and set aside for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, if you don't have a double broiler, pour one cup of water in a medium sized pot and bring it to a boil. Then turn the pot down to a simmer and add a glass bowl on top. Add one cup of can of oil and two tablespoons of soy lecithin and stir until combined. And then let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Now while the oil is simmering, using a small pot, add the other half cup of juice and bring it to a boil. When boiling, add one pack or three ounces of the jello mix and stir for 30 seconds to a minute until dissolved. Now I use Starbucks blue raspberry jello to keep the flavor consistent with the juice. You can also use Jolly Rancher jello mix. You want your gummies to taste like real candy, so I wouldn't recommend the jello brand. Once dissolved, Turn the jello off, and here's where you need to move quick. And if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my can of yummy videos. Add the jello mix to the can of oil and stir until combined. Now, this process should take about 15 minutes of consistent stirring, so be prepared. Now, while you're stirring, you might notice a slight foam film on the top of the mixture. That means the mixture is not combined yet, so keep stirring until your mixture looks like this. By now, your gelatin should have bloomed and have a soft, gelatinized texture like this. So add the gelatin to the jello mix and stir until completely combined. If you see small pieces of gelatin while you stir, use the spoon or spatula to break up the gelatin on the side of the bowl. This process should take about 10 minutes to complete and look like this when combined. This next step is optional and used as a preservative. If you have it, add one tablespoon of potassium sorbate to the jello mix and stir for a few minutes until dissolved. You can also use two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice as a substitute. Now I find it easier to use a two cup glass measuring cup to pour the gummy mix in the molds. You'll notice I didn't spray the oil in the molds. With this recipe, it's not necessary, but if you prefer to use it, it won't ruin them. So start pouring your gummy mix in each mold, making sure you fill them to the very top. You can find these molds on Amazon. I think I paid about $10 for three, and I'll make sure I leave that link below if you like to purchase them. Now this recipe made about 54 gummies. You may get more or less depending on the size and shape of your molds. Now these gummies are not going in the refrigerator. If you prefer your gummies to go in the refrigerator, that's fine, and I'll show you the difference between the two when they're done. After filling all the molds, I set the gummies aside for two hours. After two hours, these are the gummies I left on the countertop. As you can see, they easily popped out of the molds and have a nice gummy texture. They actually came out perfect. Now these are the gummies I put in the refrigerator. And as you can see, these came right out of the molds as well. The texture on these are a little firmer, but that's because they're cold. So if you leave them on the countertop or in the refrigerator, you'll get the same results. 
start placing those gummies on a plate or cookie sheet. And if you find some of your gummies may have separated, that means you didn't stir the gummy mixture long enough. And oh my gosh, these gummies came out perfect. So make sure you don't forget to like this video and share it on your social media platforms. And if you're interested in making sour gummies, add a half a cup of granulated or fine sugar to a small bowl and then add a half a tablespoon of citric acid and stir until combined. Then add a few gummies to the bowl and cover them with sugar and then add them back to the plate. When you're finished, you have some potent cannabis infused gummies. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching my whole video. And if you are gonna make these can of gummies for your friends, let me know how they turned out below in the comment section. And then I'll just show you how these came out. Look, you can, they're all gummy form. And remember, we did not put these in the refrigerator. I left these on the counter. And when you bite into them, mm, they have the gummy texture. So. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you share it on your social media platforms that support my channel and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.